so i'm uh, going to try to make a wheelbarrow planter and i have this wheelbarrow uh, lying in my house uh, they probably used it to make the place i saw it on pinterest this is the pin and uh, i mean this is fancy and everything i'm going to try to do a simpler version of it anyways um i took a sandpaper and i had to scrape off all the dried out cement that was on the wheelbarrow i uh, yeah so i didn't have any sort of scraper and the sanding didn't really work that well so i got this thing um i think it's a gardening tool and I, yeah i just started to knock it all off somehow yeah and i got a few kids to do some free labor for me because why not this is what we do in asia so uh, yeah anyways that's me scraping the crap out of this stupid wheel barrel the kids are just having fun don't worry about them they wanted to do this obviously i wouldn't force anybody so yeah i got my uh, grim reapers killing thing and i started to um peck the cement off my wheelbarrow is that what you would say i don't know I'm, i don't know what i'm doing myself so yeah i'm just trying yeah yeah okay so um yeah i got a hammer and i'm wearing sunglasses now because obviously i need to protect my eyes and the best thing to use are my awesome sunglasses the then i went on scraping the thing till i thought it was done and i flipped the thing over i got some water and i tried to clean the residue cement off the wheelbarrow also this was good for the rust because it came off which is pretty good but um water out of the bucket is not going to be enough so yeah we have that issue they're taking it to the hose pipe so that they can wash the whole thing properly so then after we washed it we put the wheel bar out in the sun put it to dry and yeah it's a pretty day to paint some wheel barrows why not anyways we're going to be uh, using metal primer on this next so uh, to be precise this is red oxide primer i think anyways i started off by painting the rusted bit first and then obviously i'd go on to paint the entire thing but it is a long and tedious task that requires a hell lot of patience so i asked the kids to help me once more so we up So then we went on to paint the entire wheel barrow the insides and its outsides and yeah it took some time but eventually we finished it we finished priming the cotton thing and now this is what it looks like yay so um once the primer dried out we got some yellow paint and we started to paint the wheel barrow which was another never ending task so then we asked an expert to help us aka my dad this is how it's supposed to be done demonstration what do we do That was pretty simple. Um, we got it done pretty quickly once we started using the paint roller thing. He was the uh, much better technique than using the stupid tiny brushes. <laughs> so then we painted the entire wheel barrow including the wheels, let it dry, blah blah blah, all that. Then we put in a few bricks inside it to give the plants some height. We're going to be using all those plants So um, yeah, we lined the entire thing up with bricks, and the next day we put in the plants. 
which turned out to be pretty cool. Obviously, it was nowhere near the pin, but it works. It's sort of pretty, I think. Uh, what I wanted to do was hang uh, some plants on the sides, so we took a wire and we sort of just pushed it through the metal sheet and made a loop out of it, which acted as a hook to hang the plants on. So there we have it, this is what it turned out to look like. I think it looks pretty cool. We also had a little bee visit us because the thing looked awesome, obviously, because I made it. I mean, look at it, isn't it? It's out of the freaking world. It's beautiful. I'm in love with it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. Also follow us on Instagram at G-Y-P-S-Y-A-R-T-W-O-R-K-S for our online store. Thank you so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.